In this user tip, I'm going to explain why we would use a glass rule to verify the accuracy of a machine. We'll start off, I've got it parallel to the X, we'll start off at the zero circle on the rule and we can see that it's zero here uh, by moving it to the scale. Click and measure the circle. We'll move to one of the other circles. Right now I'm just going to pick one at random. We'll take this one here, I believe this one is around, uh, this one's 40, I was going to say 50, but it's 40. Uh, measure that one there. Then I will do a distance measure between the two circles and click done. And I've actually measured 40.0018 millimeters or 40 millimeters and 2 microns. When you look at the cert, the calibration cert for this rule, it's actually 39.998. So you look at the differences between the two, and that's the difference in, in measurement accuracy. However, looking at this, I can determine that we are well within machine specification. Typically what we do, and we provide customers with a procedure to do this, is we measure five lengths equally spaced three times each across the x-axis, then again across the y, then diagonally this way, and diagonally this way. And from those measurements, you can make the determination of your measurement uncertainty, which is traceable, because this rule is traceable back to a known standard.